Hello, this is MakerJ101, and I just got, um, the other day my dad got me some, uh, s old stuff from his work that they were throwing out. Um, so I'm just gonna show some of the stuff I got. Um, so, like, yeah, there's a good bit of stuff here. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like some kind of a power supply or a transformer or something. It's got, like, a power switch here and probably the output, and then, I don't know, hopefully there's, like, Maybe it's, maybe it's a variac or something inside, I'm not really sure. But, yeah. Um, so I'll take that apart in a bit and show what's inside there. These all look like microscope parts here. We've got some kind of a... Um, uh, I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, lots of microscope parts. Looks like pretty good quality ones, too. Kind of old ones, too. But, yeah. So this could probably be just a chunk of aluminum. Lots. Yeah. Uh, um, looks like a, what's that called? Shutter. Some sort of a shutter for, I guess a microscope, maybe a camera, I don't know. Uh, cork. That's a, Pieces of aluminum and some plugs. Some pieces of glass and what else is in here? Just metal. Not too much else in there. Um, just a AC motor induction. 1.3 amps. 1,500 RPM, 1,550 RPM, um, a little, some kind of a timer module, uh, switch thingamabob, I don't know, a uh, timer, 15 minute timer, that'll be pretty useful, um, let's see, what else do we have, uh, let's see here, got a, um, pressure gauge, uh, some, Pipe fittings, uh, little discs of some kind. Uh, let's see here. Got some kind of like a saw blade looking thing. Yeah, you know, some like grinder pieces. Um, piece of metal. Uh, pen. Uh, what's in here? Final plastic electric tape. Electric tape. Looks brand new. And filter paper. And some samples of like, yeah, metal, more electrical tape. Tweezers. Um, super sockets. Transformer 100 psi pressure gauge. Hmm, I don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like it would maybe hold a pressure gauge or something. Maybe. Not sure. Plastic containers. Piece of metal. Oh, that goes with the transformer. So it's like a battery adapter thingy. Um, what's this? I guess this looks like, yeah, it measures, um, like pressure or something when you push on here. The one, the little pointer is broken off there, though. Huh. Um, a really nice, um, meter. 2,500 and fifth, 500 milliamps. <clears throat> a motor speed controller. Um, looks like it be for like a Dremel tool or something. Um, some laser goggles. I think that these ones, yeah, it says argon right there. So it only, so I don't think it would protect protect your eyes against um red lasers. But oh well, more microscope parts. Uh, don't know what that is. Let's 
see. Oh wow, that's very old. Looks like a light, bunch of little light bulbs around there. Huh, that's pretty old. Some microscope parts in here. Filter. Some sort of like stand. Um, yeah. There's two vibrators, like, um, for, um, engraving stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna test out this box. So, basically, I, um, or I opened it up, and at first I was thinking that these were ballasts, because this is a variac in here. Um, it seemed, this variac, um, it's a very small one, but, uh, the output is 2.2 amps, input is 120 volts, Output is zero through, wait, it's on three and, or wait, one and two is the output. So 120 volts because four is not used. So, yeah, so it's 120 volts output or zero to 120 volts output. Um, and I think that. These are two transformers, and it feeds into those because it only puts 14 volts AC out maximum. So it's an AC power supply, variable AC power supply. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that it works. So yeah. So it's at zero volts. And we can turn it off. So yeah, I don't know. Not sure if I'm going to uh, leave it like how it is right now, because it's not really useful for me as an AC variable power supply. Sometimes that's kind of that would be kind of useful to have something like that. But I've always wanted a variac, so I might take the variac out of it and use that. But it's definitely very um uh very well built and. It seems kind of like it might have been uh, hand built, but I mean built by hand, but I'm not really sure. So yeah, I think I'll probably yeah I'll test some more things out here. So yeah, I'll hook up. We'll just test out this motor here. See if that works. It's just a normal induction motor. Double check the wiring. Yep, that works. So, yeah. Alright, I'll test out mm, this timer. Looks like that would be pretty nice. Let's see what happens. I mean, a little. It's a good sign. Set it one minute. See if it goes down. Oh yeah, it looks like. Oh yeah, it's going down. So it looks like that works. Let me turn it up a little bit more. See if it clicks. Because I think there's a switch in there. Clicked it. Yeah, it's a 15 minute timer. That'll be pretty useful, I think. Yep, yeah, it clicks. Alright, what else should we test out? Not really much else to test out other than this. So, well, this looks like it was pretty old because it says solid state on there. So it's like, yeah, pretty old. I might open this up, see what it looks like inside before I see if it works. Okay, so this seems to work. 
Um, I did have to, the fuse was blown and the fuse holder when I popped it out, it, or it was broken, so I just bypassed the fuse, or I wrapped a little tiny wire around the um, terminals inside, so it's still basically a fuse, but not quite as safe, but it's good enough. So yeah, I'm running this very old um, sewing machine motor off of it, but I think that these will only run... Um, brushed motors, so I don't think it'll run this induction motor. I could try it, but I don't think it will, but, so yeah. And if you're wondering, um, you cannot substitute this for a Variac because this just uses, I think, pulse width modulation to um, control it. So it wouldn't, if it's like down here, it's still putting out enough power. I mean, it's still putting out 150 like volts at times, so it'd still shock you easily. It's just for a very brief second, it's um, putting out high voltage or full power. So, yeah, so that works. Um, I might just leave this in here, but put another terminal block on here, maybe on the back or something. Or I might put an outlet on here um, and hook it directly to the Variac, so it'll bypass these step-down transformers. I don't know why there's two, but it seems kind of weird. I haven't exactly figured out how it's wired up yet, but yeah. So yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Okay, well, I guess I was sort of wrong. Um, it does seem to run induction motors. Not real well, but... So it must not just do pulse... Well, I don't know. It must change the frequency, too. Yeah, but both these motors are pretty old. This one's from a very old sewing machine. It kind of... It's going at a slow speed. And then when you turn it up a little bit, just a tiny bit, it starts to speed up to full speed. See? It's not really doing it now. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It actually works. Now I have, I had one of these from, or a similar thing, from a um, like saw or something, that, um, or maybe it was a drill. I don't know, but I took the circuit out of it and I used that. Or I tried to use it as a variac to burn out, to pop a capacitor and it just, um, just burned out the circuit pretty much instantly. So, you can't use this as a variac though. I, mean, I guess you maybe could if you, uh, put, maybe, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll probably, you yeah, know, put an outlet on here maybe. So I can also get, like, 130 volts output. Zero through 130 volts output, and then also 14 volts to zero volts output. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Got lots of good stuff now. Yeah.